Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Insomnia the Ark. I'm Colonel RPG, and I'm very happy to have you here with Dr. Redden, as we hopefully get uh, cured, but not injected with whatever he was doing. Go visit Captain Rebel, he will clear things up and tell you what to do next. Oh, this sucks. I wanted... Uh, I wanted to heal. Um, we might be in a different place, though. There's a cooler. Or we might be in a different time. Which might be a bad idea. I like these computers and all the machinery back there. It takes a lot of work to do something like that. Unless they have the all the, you know, it's just placing assets. Hi! Hi! Is that... <laughs> That's off. Okay. Hey! I think this is just the... He doesn't say anything. Key to the old door. I don't have it, though. Can I go back here? Excuse me. Hi. Okay. Oh, I like that box. Oh, that's a cool box. I need to... That's so cool. I like that. I like that so much. That's really cool. That blue... That green box. I mean, green and white. Man, I love boxes. Boxes are nice. <laughs> uh, what do I have? Oh, it's just a locker with nothing. Hi. Yeah, I think they crossed the line this time. What's happening in the near range? Uh, hmm. These things are happening in the near range. He doesn't have anything for me, though. Apart from pants and things. Not that. Okay. Uh, okay, so... That doesn't weigh anything. Let's just... Uh, I can't do that. I have an AI module. It can be used as a base or additional block for uh, most new generation blocks. So I'm gonna keep that, because that looks to be pretty good. I'm gonna sell that. Oh, that was errors. Did you see? There's a bunch of errors there with that cup. Or something. Oh no, it's when I double click the error show up. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> uh, bye. Ah, uh, bye. Okay, do you like this? Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Timeless Saga, that's a quest item. They have a bunch of stuff up here. Chocolate. Bunch of things. Uh, just for thirst and speed and maximum weight. How long does that last? 60 seconds maximum weight for plus 5? That's irrelevant. Give me plus 50 for 50 seconds or for 600 seconds plus 5. It doesn't change anything. Uh, and then everything else I'll keep, even though I'll drop it in my locker. So I'm gonna exchange. Oh, the game, uh, by the way, the game is being patched. Uh, I, I saw the Twitter post from by the team, but I I think it is now 1.03. Oh, I'm not, I can't tell from here. Um, that's a shame. Yeah, I can't tell from in here. Uh, so we might have the new things like... Like this. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, so, hey, 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 how's it going? Yeah, I know where I am. I'm very close to my uh, to my lockers, indeed. Uh, so we are in the level where I want to be. Also, can I find my way to rebuild? Uh, through here, isn't it? So, kitchen, rebuild's office. Hi! I know you. nobody likes me. Payment is... Oh, by the way, somebody told me in the comments that Stand uh, is a mistranslation. It's supposed to be Tribune. Uh, as in sort of a... You know, a Tribune. It is a Stand. It's probably... There's other words that would make a cool... A better name. Uh, they call Son Goku Zero in some versions. So why don't they just translate it into Mark? <laughs> or something like that. Although I do like Tribune as a name. It's an interesting thing. So, Captain, you smoke a... Uh, Pipe. And you're also rude as crap, because you're blowing your your smoke at my face. Also, that it's unhealthy, not just being rude. Do you have a different painting now? Also, what is that what it Manifest. That's what's written in that bottle. That's a cool looking bottle. The, the, they left all the effects for the glass and stuff like that. Because they could have, you know, removed that sort of stuff. It's a very specific detail, and it might... It might have, uh, in certain levels, it might have a, a severe graphical impact, but they left it. Hi. Well, Serge, how do you feel? Seems that you're gaining a popularity in certain circles. Oh, was I? I don't, I don't know. Bad news. About half an hour ago, I, which means nothing to you because you just woke up from a coma, but it doesn't matter. I had a man in my office dressed in a, uh, uh sopret uniform. 
This means that the committee is interested in what happened in Zone D96. Oh, boy. What did he want? Uh, very fine the details of um, what had happened in... No, he verified the details of what had happened in Zone D96 and then asked for your characteristics. No, he asked you to verify the details. He checked on the details. So it's a slight difference, but yeah. So what's this operative? They're committee special services operatives. They deal with everything in any way rel related to anomalous activity. I suppose Redden has already told you about what we are actually doing here. Consider this place a private undercover base. I'm a security officer, and Redden is in charge of the laboratory. You'll soon find out what ha what we're after. Yeah, you guys don't tell me anything. You all say, oh, you'll soon find this, you'll soon find that. Nope, you didn't tell me anything. I understand that all of this has you at a loss, and you have no reason to trust us, but I advise you not to jump to any con to conclusions. I'm afraid the only place where they can help you now is the vulture's nest. You need some help? I, to get out of the committee's reach, to provide you with medical assistance, to help you understand what is going on with you. As you can see, you have plenty of things to deal with. When you meet our curator, he will tell you about the situation in more detail. Your curator? One of the highest ranks of the Dark Hallow Division, which is responsible for herb security. He said he'd, meet, uh, he'd like to meet with you as soon as you recover. You are to meet at the Square of Glory. It's a semi-abandoned reservation within Zone F-42. He will be waiting for you to the right of the Hierarchy Aviators Monument. Best go there now. Yeah, I have a lot to think about. I agree with you here, but I hope your conversation with the curator will help clean up the mess in your head. Well, I guess I have another place to go. I kind of want to do other things, though. Can I talk to you again? No. Okay. Well, let's see you later, I guess. Since I can't do anything. Hey! Uh, what's her, what's her name? Borsta. That's an easy name to remember. Because I always make fun of it. In my head. Because of what it means in Portuguese. It doesn't mean anything in Portuguese, but if you change one word, it does. And it sort of... Sort of reminds me. It's like cheered. The man in the cloak coughs loudly. And he's got... Laser eyes. Uh, his rather his strange, rather unpleasant smile is directed particularly at you. That's an interesting way of putting it. Hey, you don't look too good. Is everything okay? The strong voice sounds quite brazen. Uh, yeah, it's been a hard day. The man nods his head as if in agreement. The rabbles come out of hiding. The usual isn't enough for them anymore. Change is coming, isn't it? Uh, well, all anybody ever talks about is change. People don't actually know what the, what it is they want. Who are you? Me? I'm a journalist. My name is Deblin, but I... I'd rather publish my work under my real name. What? Then your name is not Devlin? What do you mean? Okay, I have no time to talk, I'm afraid. The man nods again and offers a mock smile. Of course! Serve well, soldier. He's probably a spy, that's what he is. I mean, he's got laser eyes, so he's probably a spy. Um, yeah. So, let's go down to the garage, if I remember how to do that. I think it's through here. Uh, there's probably another way or something. So, we can't get easy healing. Will we get easy healing if we simply travel, I wonder? Not that I want easy healing. I'm, I'm good where I am. I do want to... Sh uh, to uh, rebuild my shield once. I also want to see if I can rebuild the um, the machine gun. Oh, where, where's the way? Is it through here? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to uh, to do that. Hey, Mr. Getter. Oh, it's through there. Sorry, I, I got turned around. Right around here. This should be a little bit toned down. The running out of... It's not like, I mean... <laughs> It's not like it's realistic or anything, it's just sort of a little bit of a scare. Uh, so here we are. Op open the locker, get all that stuff. Can't move. Hold up, yeah, at least I can mess with the locker. So I can do this. Uh, and uh, let's see. So we got uh, steel plates. Yeah, basically I can put everything in there. And just take whatever I need. That sounds good to me. This AA module, journal pages don't weigh anything. All of these go in there. 
uh, the this I'll keep. Is it too heavy? It's not too heavy, so I'm, I'm good with that. The grenades, are they too heavy? They are pretty heavy. Are they? Where are they? Yeah, they're pretty heavy, so I'll keep them in there. Uh, let's see. What are these? These are batteries. Uh, moonshine, that's not too heavy. Neither is water. An old coin, that doesn't weigh anything. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's pretty heavy, but that's good enough as it is. Uh, back here, a symbol. I think I'm going to hang on to those. Um, no, I shouldn't, shouldn't be doing this. Um, yeah. Uh, then that's the amount. Uh, can I divide? I might, might as well just go for it. We don't shoot all that much. Uh, but then again, that is pretty heavy, though. Yeah, we don't shoot all that much. I'll, I'll divide again. Just do it like that. Uh, the, old, the owl figurine, that's something else. Uh, that's that's a quest item, though, so I probably should hang on to that. Uh, I can sort through here. And now I can go back here. And see what I can do here. So I'm going to need 25 weapon parts and 20 complex weapon parts. Uh, and we have enough weapon parts. Complex weapon parts. I need five more. How do I make complex weapon parts? Uh, mm, I can't make them, so I need more. Well, sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. So how do I repair my shield? I'll need to put it over there. Fix. It's going to require iron plates. I should have plenty of them. Hopefully. There we go. So I'll leave all of those behind. Uh, actually, does that require fixing? How much for that? That's eight. I wonder if it, you need more and more depending on how much you use it. I'm sure I'll get more. So I think we'll be okay. Um, let's see. So I will probably need... Complex weapon parts. Wait a minute, it didn't stack? It was complex parts, not complex weapon parts. Uh, I hope I can't... Well, I hope I can make it, but I didn't see... Yeah. It's not here. So I'll have to take uh, the parts. The simple parts. How much is that? Seven pounds worth of it. It's, it's just immense. How much is that then? 1.5 pounds. That's fine. Um, and then... Oh, simple, oh, yeah. Everything is good. Uh, and then we have complex parts, which I will... So parts and simple parts. I'll take five of them. Are they very heavy? They're sort of heavy. Not immensely so. So I think that's that's okay. I probably will need more stuff, but I'll, I'll, I'll be fine with that. You guys are making noise. You know that? Noise. One of these days, I'll tell you. Um, hey, do you... Uh, things and stuff? No? Okay. Well, I'll figure out the complex weapon parts someday. Oh, can't go out through here. I can't if I do that. Why didn't I... Why didn't I figure that out? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the exit. And we're gonna visit... Well, we're gonna go to places that we haven't been to. And definitely not uh, F-42. We're not going there. Object C is a multi-level space... Oh yeah, it's uh, object, object 6, not Object C. Um, so we haven't been there. Let's go there. Something bipped there. I think those are fires up there. Look at that. This is where we need to be. Have I been here before? I don't remember. I guess I'll. it will be easy to remember once you see it. Uh, I, I would swear that I haven't. Um... I wish the, na the, the names were a little bit more immediately obvious. Hey! They still have Russian names up here. The game is loading. Guess it's gonna be easy to know if I have or not. Oh, 
I... I think so. I don't like that noise. Did you hear it? Tell me about your establishment. I opened less than two years ago when I left my simple weak trade at Liquid Sky. I wanted more meaningful work and decided to try out my old passion, the culinary arts. Although, admittedly, there aren't many in this area who appreciate good food, which is why I decided to focus my efforts elsewhere. I offer people the usual fare, but quality is inevitable. No, sorry, enviable, even compared with the government establishments in Herb. Oh yeah, I do hope to attain that l level next year. Really? Perhaps I can recommend you to someone? That would be amazing! Why don't you try some of my food so you know what I'm talking about on, on the house? And he gave me a drink. Yeah, this guy is very confused about what food constitutes, or what constitutes food. Now, what was making that awful noise? I have no idea what that was. We got a lot of things in here, though. So we definitely haven't been here. It's good news. It is definitely the sound of a creature. Hi. Hi. This man is clearly an artisan who's absolutely unaffected by the devastation and despondency that surrounds him, even though his shop looks amazing. And that fan right there, even though it's not very effective or efficient, looks awesome. His workshop seems to be very successful. I salute you, soldier. Glad to see you at the Steel Rat. I have all the parts you can think of and the best fuel in the region. Okay, tell me about yourself. Hastir, his name apparently is Hastir, smiles wide, exposing all of his dental crowns. What is this, Unitor? An interrogation? I'm not going to explain my pedigree to the first person I meet. Apparently you're the first person I meet, and I don't advise you do you to either. Don't worry, I've met other people. The past always catches up with us at the most unexpected moment, usually when your pants are down. Let me tell you something. Many years ago, I was a successful mercenary, and now I'm an aging wreck for whom each trip to the join to the John, and that's not how that's written, is an adventure. I thought it was just J O N. Uh, but it is. I have heard that the, the was uh the man who invented the latrine, not the latrine, but I guess the John was called John Crapper. Uh, but I might be mistaken on that. Uh, of course, I mean. I might be mistaken on this. I know for a fact that I heard the one about John Crapper. Of course, it might be a myth. Uh, so it's not about being mistaken there. It's about... It probably is a myth. It's just a disclaimer there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I might be mistaken on, th on that one. Don't be stirring up the past now. We all have our own fate. Uh, so tell me about yourself. I won't insist. Okay. Well, apparently that wasn't insisting. Oh, it was. I said I don't gossip. Uh, may I ask you a couple of questions about your workshop? Well, go on. Uh, it's called Steel Rat, for real. It's just my nickname in certain circles. You've been hearing the word circles a lot this episode, haven't you? Anyway, I've had it since my spine was fixed up with a dozen steel pins. Uh, what you actually sell? I don't ta don't they check your vision before s sending you people out? See for yourself. Whatever's on the shelves is what they is what I sell. Surely you don't think I have something illegal here, do you? He winks expressively at you. I bet that's not what you sell. I bet I can't buy that. And if I can... Oh boy. See? See? You jerk. You know what you deserve? That I buy this crap and I smash it in your face. He also sells AM modules and other things. I could get... I suppose I could get complex weapon parts. Complex... No, I need complex parts. Yeah. These I also need. They're very expensive. And I don't have money for that. I do. I do have money for that. Uh, I also need lockpicks. Unfortunately, he doesn't sell them. Uh, do I need that? No. I need this more. So I'm not going to spend my money there. Uh, I also have a tablet, apparently. STL3005 tablet. A tablet computer used for 
connecting to the station's networks. This model belongs to the famous vintage Grelum or Grelum satellite series. Tech tours use these tablets to debug various electronic systems. With this device, it will be much simpler to open doors and turn off security systems while traveling beyond the, the borders of uh, Earth. I really don't understand why you call it tablet. It isn't a tablet. It might. It, I mean, it, it's not like tablets in real life are tablets. It's just they're, 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 they're called that for marketing purposes. And they existed before they were called tablets as well, which just adds to the confusion. Um, but uh, that confuses me. Vodnet asked me to bring you this package. What other package? What? No, this one. There shouldn't be... Oh, yeah, of course. Give it to me. Sure thing. And there it is. Uh, Hastier impatiently grabs the package from your hands. Who are you calling an old timer? Did you... Did I? I'm sorry. Did you pick it up from that idiot... So, this whole microchip deal has gone so smoothly, it's honestly suspicious. It's fine, here. And he hands you a few crumpled bills. Is that all? Were you expecting to get mountains of iridium just for using my, your feet? I plan everything out. Everyone, everyone gets paid this way. Hey, cheer up, soldier. Your day will come. Yeah, tell me that as you do nasty, nasty things to me. Hey, um, you wouldn't happen to have any work I could do, would you? I mean, using my feet, apparently. He throws a roguish look at you. Ah, uh, you've arrived just in time, soldier. I have an incredibly important job here that only a real professional can handle. Yes, upsell your your job so I can ask for more money. A master of the blade and the gun, so to speak. I need you to deliver an incredibly valuable item to Commissar Farka at the military base. He's the head of customs over there. What's that? It's a projector that was made before the evacuation. It's 400 years old. I myself, of course, appreciate all sorts of prehistoric toys. Also because I don't know what historic means. But to be honest, I have enough broken junk. Fixing this, and I'll tell you what historic means. Fixing this projector without spare parts is a real hassle. But many collectors don't care if it works. Only that it has the ancient markings. What do you, uh, how do you feel about that? Yep, yeah, let's do this. He digs into a pile of junk and pulls out a device. Take this thing and go see Farka. I think I know where he is. He's at the military base in the customs office for the right, uh, to the right of the bridge that leads to Herb. And if you try to pocket this piece of crap, I doubt anyone would pay well for it. And I did get a weird looking thing. It is a projector. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. I hope it's not very heavy because it is pretty heavy actually. Can I just disassemble? Hmm. It's not terrible. I mean, I'm not gonna disassemble it. Um, okay, so what does historic mean? Pretty simple, very, very simple. It means that we have written record from there. And technically speaking, not that we have written record, but rather that it is, or it has written record. So if we lose all written record from, I don't know, everything from before, uh, 200 years past. That doesn't mean it suddenly it's prehistory, but it's just you know it's you know you know what I mean. So it, yeah, that's that's what it means. So they wouldn't call uh, the pre-exodus or whatever uh, times they wouldn't call it prehistory, because uh, unless I mean they, some of these people are so just so weird that yes they might. I really need lockpicks though, because there's another thing over there uh, that requires lockpicks. Oh, there's comics. I'll take them. What can I do with that? No, I can disassemble. The 98th issue of the Adventures of Furry Nose. Furry Nose's own brother is turned evil and is preparing a trap for our hero. Um, so I can disassemble. That's not worth it. I'll sell them. Uh, so let's see. Let's open this thing. Oh, I hate these. And I bet it's going to suck. What's in there? Okay, that was decent. Okay, that was decent. Okay, that was terrible. Okay, that was decent. Okay. Ha! Oh, I hate it. Oh, iron plates. I mean, it's not. It's okay. Hey, the dowel. Gosh. Why did I even say gosh? I don't... Like, look at that face. The eyes of a child are visible through the slits in a creepy old mask. They're as clear as they are wild. What are you looking at? Interesting mask you got there, kid. I stole it off an archaeologist. They're always digging up these kinds of things. What's it to you? 
Okay, let's let's trade. You give me the mask and I'll give you something just as cool, like chocolate. Don't even think about it. The symbol of power in my gang, get it? One day I'll be the boss of Rusty Arena. Doesn't your gang need anything? The boy looks at you very attentively. Now that I think about it, I could use a gun. Bring me a military barker and I'll give you a mask. Sorry, sold it. Or destroyed it, actually. Yeah. So... Nah. Do you know who you are... Who you're talking to? Tubers aren't welcome here. You better not mess with the gang. Uh, where are parents? I don't have any parents. My gang is my family. I'm not just some snot-nosed kid, okay? They call me the Dowl. Actually, with a capital D, uh, T there, but anyway. And I'm the... I'm one of the nails. What? You don't believe me? That's always a... That's a turn of phrase that is common in uh, in pathologic. It's... I don't I wonder what... How it is in Russian, because... Yeah. Um... It looks, uh, it looks like I need to report someone to the Surveillance Authority. I don't mess with me, Tuber. We make our own rules here. Everyone will fear us one day. We just need to get rid of the archaeologists. What archaeologists are you talking about? Do you see all that trash over there? The archaeologists live there. They're all bums. At least we have some respect, self-respect. They eat their own shit, but apparently we're the only ones who hit rock bottom. Soon, this corner will be ours. And then, Liquid Squid and the move... And then Liquid Skid, uh, Squid, uh, sorry, Liquid Sky, and the movie theater. Hey, do you have a cigarette? That was so out of nowhere, I don't even... Why would I have a cigarette? Why would you want a cigarette? Go and smoke a pipe like a proper person. I don't have time to chat, stupid jerk. <laughs> also, what kind of kid says, oh, and they, they say we're the ones who hit rock bottom. In all of your six years of life... I'm sure you've had time to be conscious enough to know what hitting anything at all is, even is. Hmm. Kids don't talk like that. That's not... That just doesn't make any sense. I bet that's a full-grown person. Just maybe with uh, some some pituitary deficiency. And then that's why they cover their face. So that I can tell. But anyway, we're out of time for the day. So this guy's reading... Oh, he's definitely reading something. Now that, I could take that as a tablet. Probably a Pip Boy or something. But anyway, that's gonna be that. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Insomnia the Arc. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>